Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to answer the question that I've been getting asked a lot lately, and it's why do you still upload or play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare? And it's not just on YouTube or on uh, or on Twitter or just any social media part of my life. It's also in my personal life. A lot of my good friends have been asking, why do I still play COD? Why do I still play Infinite Warfare? So I uh, want to answer that question for all you guys. But before I get started, I know this may sound silly, but actually Call of Duty and you guys have honestly been a savior to me in my life. Like looking back at everything, I really do owe my life to you guys and the game as well. Uh, like I said, it may sound silly, but it actually is true. So let me explain here. Uh, the reason why I say that is because I really don't live in the best of neighborhoods in uh, in, uh, in in my city. And uh, some of the people that I've been around in my life weren't the best of influences. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. But uh, basically when I was a lot younger, I surrounded myself with a lot of negative influences in my life. And really this all happened when I went to this one park to go play basketball. Because this park was actually known for having some really good competition there. If you guys didn't know, I'm a pretty huge basketball fan. I love the game a lot. I love to play it a lot. So, uh, yeah, this park had a lot of good competition over there. So, I wanted to go over there and, you know, showcase my skills and get better at the game. And the best way to do that is to play against good competition. And, uh, so yeah, this park was actually known for having some of the so having some of the bad people in the city such as drug dealers uh, gang members etc it just really was uh, a place for bad people to go hang out but like i said the reason why i went over there is because i want to showcase my skills i want to get better at the game and then uh, when i got there you know i showcased my skills i, I guess i uh, i caught some people's attention and then i started getting a lot of attention over there from other people at the game people started to uh, befriend me if you will but then after a while i realized that these people were kind of just the bad crowd to be around but like I said I was a young kid at the time I didn't know who I should hang around and they basically kind of took me under their wing and the way they uh, did that was by influencing me and introducing me to a lot of drugs and a lot of illegal stuff but uh, you know like I said when I was younger I, I was just a dumb kid I, I made a lot of mistakes we all make mistakes in life so uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about that too much, but basically that's all that would happen. But instead of moving on with that lifestyle, around that time is actually when I started getting into Call of Duty and making videos on the game. And uh, like I said, instead of choosing that lifestyle to follow the wrong path and hang out with the wrong crowd, all I wanted to do was play Call of Duty and upload videos on the game. And uh, I don't know where I'd be at right now if I followed all that negative influences. So uh, I really do owe my life to you guys and the game as well. And the reason why I still play Call of Duty to this day is because of that reason. And another reason is because I generally do love the game a lot. Like I remember my first game ever. It was on Modern Warfare 2. I think I was playing on the map Fiel, some Team Deathmatch. And just the whole arcade shooter aspect of Call of Duty was just addicting to me. And uh, I fell in love with this series and I still do love the game to this day. And I will always love Call of Duty. My channel will always be a Call of Duty YouTube channel. Just because I have so much respect for the game and I actually really do owe my life to the game. So uh, yeah, that's why I still upload and play Call of Duty. Uh, the reason why I still make videos and play Infinite Warfare is because I really do want to see this game succeed and do well. Because to me, it's not all that bad of a game that some people are making it out to be. Yeah, it's arguably not the most fun Call of Duty game in this series. But I still like to play the game a lot with friends and I do have a good time playing occasionally. And I feel that this game has a lot of good things about it. Like such as being able to tell if you're going to join a game session in progress. Or, uh, for example, the new connection status icons. Those are some really good things that I would like to see every Call of Duty game from here on out have. But there's also a lot of bad things about the game, like uh, such as a mass dump of supply drop content that we saw a couple uh, weeks ago. And uh, just there's some bad things about this game that needs to be fixed or added. Uh, leaderboards, emblem editor, comment record, that sort of stuff is what I'm talking about. But... Um, no, I mean, all that stuff is coming within the month here and also in February, so, yeah, that's gonna be coming out soon. I know you guys have heard that a lot, but, uh, it is actually coming soon, like, we do have a confirmed date on that sort of stuff. But, yeah, like I said, there are a lot of negative aspects about this game, but, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. I know the devs are actually trying to make this game good, and that's really all I want to see, and that's really all I want to hear. Like, I want to know that the devs are trying and doing their best to make this game fun for everybody, and I really do think they're actually doing that. It's just, I think they need to look at... Uh, the community a bit more and look at what we want to see in the game and this yeah That's just my thoughts about infinite warfare. Like I said, I do want to see this game succeed I think it's a pretty decent game It's not the best call of duty again, but I still have some fun on the game Like I totally don't hate the game But uh, the reason why I don't upload Modern Warfare remastered videos occasionally occasionally I'll do some videos on the game But uh, most of my channel is gonna be on infinite warfare for throughout the year uh, throughout the life cycle of Infinite Warfare, but the reason why I don't make Modern Warfare Remastered videos is because I never played COD 4 when the game came out. I first started back in MW2, and uh, I really don't have a lot of knowledge on COD 4. I don't really know anything about the game, so I can't really make tips and tricks videos on that game. I can't do any jump spots, uh, nade spots, etc. And uh, also, I just want to play a new Call of Duty game in this series. Like, I don't want to play something that's old. I want to play something new. I, I want to play something that's refreshing to me. 
And it's, yeah, that's really why I still upload and play Infinite Warfare still to this day. I'll play Modern Warfare Remastered a couple times out of the week. But as of now, my main focus is on Infinite Warfare. And I know a lot of you guys don't like me making videos on the game. But if you'd like to see other videos on other Call of Duty games, I'd be happy to make them for you guys. It's just I'm focusing on IW right now. And I'm going to stay loyal to the game and also the Call, the Call of Duty franchise as a whole. Because I owe it so much. And also owe you guys so much as well. So... Again, I, I thank you so much for everything you guys have done for me. I thank you for the support and also liking my videos and commenting and subscribing. Just if you're watching this video, I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Vert. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll catch you guys later.